Chips are everywhere. We find them in our cars, thermostat, laptops and smartphones. To make these chips ever better, smarter and smaller, we need a new type of light to produce and print these chips. And that light is called extreme ultraviolet light. And to make that light, we need a very special process. So what is this light and how do we make it? Extreme ultraviolet light is very special light and it does not even occur on Earth. And our eyes cannot see it. Its super small wavelength is 40 times shorter than that of light that we can see. That's visible light. So this visible light, violet, ultraviolet and even more ultra than that is extreme ultraviolet light. Making this light is not easy. We do this here at ERCNL by shooting at very small droplets of tin with intense laser pulses. Getting from tin to extreme ultraviolet light is a two-step process. In the first step, we give the tin droplet, which is the size of the thickness of a human hair, a kick with a laser. And this kick changes the droplet into a very thin pancake. And this pancake is then hit with a second laser pulse. And the second laser pulse changes this droplet again into a plasma. This plasma is then made so hot that it sends out extreme ultraviolet light. And this very special character of the light that is sent out makes it useful to print next generation's chips. Here at ARCNL in our labs, we study this fascinating two-step process and hope to find ways to improve it. What is special about us is the focus of our basic research on the technology to produce modern computer chips. Did you know that the smallest features in the chips of modern computers and smartphones are already as small as 20 nanometers? That's only 80 atom diameters. And this has to shrink further if we want to squeeze even more intelligence in ever smaller devices. My dream is that in the future a smartphone will not look like this, but in fact it will look like this and it will be able to do a lot more. ARCNL is a collaboration between NWO, the two universities in Amsterdam, and the semiconductor equipment manufacturer ASML, the world market leader in lithography machines, the machines that are used to make computer chips. Further advancements in this lithography technology require new basic research and this is precisely where ARCNL comes in. We investigate how to make extreme ultraviolet light. We investigate the special mirrors that are used as lenses for this light. We investigate friction that hinders the machines. And we investigate the special light sensitive materials that are used to capture the special patterns. What I like so much about this special public-private partnership is that it enables us to make the full stretch from basic research to genuine industrial application.